Patty Taylor that owns him um, showed him and then she had a hip replacement about when I started to work for her and I wrote him some, um, I've done a few other derbies on him, he's won a couple and then um, then he looked like he kind of got tired of it and we brought him here just to so, so she could ride so he'd be cool, wouldn't be hot in Missouri where it's 100 and some. So um, he just felt good so we thought we'd do this for fun and then he was so good and um, it was just meant to be I guess. This is my last class on him, so um, he'll retire, his mom will ride him around, and he's 18, so he goes to Florida with us, and she'll ride him around there, and he, then he comes back to St. Louis during the summer. I think the inside turn I did to the in and out, and um, Caitlin actually did it beautifully as well, but her horse unfortunately tripped, so, um, but I think that's, that's what did it for him. My other horse actually went much much better but I galloped really hard to the last jump just to he's very young so I was kind of seeing what he would do and so he got a little worried about it but um, this guy I knew I could trust I love coming here last year he came for two weeks that was my first time and then this year um, we are here for four weeks so we're one more week and um, I've had a lot of success in the jumpers I love the jumper ring and um, I actually love doing the hunters down here in the van camp and it's quite nice, but I, I love the people here and the town is great. And it's one of my favorite places to come. I just wanted to thank Southern Arches because, I mean, they've made dreams come true left and right that I never thought would happen. And um, Baskin Farms is, um, Susan Baginski is, trains us and, um, it, you know, she's been just the huge confidence builder and a big supporter. So it's been amazing.